So by the medium of this video, I would try to answer these questions that what are fertile days? When are the most chances for uh, you know becoming pregnant? And should you even be checking your fertile days? Is it really uh, needed? So hi friends, I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma, Director of Origin Fertility and IVF and today we will speak on these topics. So to understand that what are fertile days, you have to understand the physiology that how pregnancy happens. So every month, every lady from second or third day of the cycle starts forming an egg or follicle and that egg keeps on growing to a certain size, let's say about 80-90 millimeter. At around mid-cycle, mid that follicle ruptures and a microscopic egg comes from the ovary and enters into the tube and husband's sperm which were deposited in the vagina through intercourse they travel through the cervix through the uterus and they travel to the tube so egg and the sperm they meet in the tube and that's how a pregnancy happens right so the egg's life is only 24 hours and the sperm's life is only three to four days so the time period in which a lady can become pregnant is hardly three to four days that is what is the fertile period so that means that it, it the pregnancy doesn't happen on every day of the menstrual period there are only certain days in which a pregnancy will happen so should you be tracking the fertile days if you're trying to become pregnant i would say no if you are living together if you have a normal sexual life then please don't track fertile days and it's not me who is saying that it is the scientific studies that are saying that. It is lots of international societies which are recommending that. Why is that? That if you are tracking the fertile days, it can create so much of pressure on your head. It can lead to huge performance anxiety, performance pressure. That so much so that even impotence can happen. And on that particular day, you may not be able to have intercourse because of the psychological pressure. So all the international societies that we follow the recommendations, the guidelines like UK guidelines, the USC guidelines, they say don't follow the fertile period, don't track it, don't use any ovulation trackers, don't use any apps, just be together two to three times per week without bothering about the days. That is the best advice given to a couple who is living together. So there may be advantages of tracking fertile period for certain couples in certain situations. Let's say the couple is living separately one you know wife is living in one city husband is living in another city and they are able to come just two three days um, in a month okay then it may be a good idea to to match those two three days to your fertile period or there may be a situation the husband is in army he doesn't get leave he's going to come only for two three days then what is leave he should take that also fertile period will be helpful in that or because of uh, job problems or because of water problems because of shift duties you know like wife is having night duty husband is having day duty they are not able to uh, have uh, intercourse very frequently in that case also tracking your fertile period might be helpful to you so how can you uh, know your fertile days yourself for that you have to understand that every lady has different menstrual cycle length how do you calculate menstrual cycle length is that from the first day of the uh, this period to the next day of this period that is the length of this cycle so somebody will have a 21 day cycle somebody will have 25 day cycle somebody will have 30 35 40 so every lady will have different length of the menstrual cycle so just please track that how much longer your cycle is and track that for two three months so if you have regular periods then the egg from the egg release to the next period the period remain fixed which is 14 days that means from your expected date of period if you uh, you know subtract 14 days that will be your day of ovulation for example let's say you have a 28 day cycle okay and let's say you had your periods on 1st of november and you are likely to get your period on 28th of november so you will uh, subtract 14 days from 28 so minus 14 is around 14th November so that means around 14th November you are likely to have your ovulation similarly if you have 35 day cycle subtract minus 14 days so around around 20 21st day of your cycle you are going to have your ovulation that's how you can calculate that this is the probable time when you are likely to have ovulation so from that day three four days prior and one days later because sperm's life is three four days and egg's life is one day. So 
So around three, four days is the likely period in which you are most likely to conceive and you can plan your uh, leaves according to that. This is one way. By, uh, but this applies only when your period cycle is regular. If your period cycle is not regular, then this does not apply. In that case, we have to rely on other methods. And also, if your periods are irregular, you might not be forming an egg. And in that case, you need medical help. What are the other ways to confirm when the egg is rupturing? So one of that method is using ovulation kits. Okay, These are very easily available kits in the market. And they actually test one particular hormone, which is known as LH or luteinizing hormone. So what is LH? For that, you have to understand that when the follicle starts forming and it reaches a particular size, which is around 80, 90 millimeter, and the egg inside is mature, our brain or pituitary gland releases a signal. And that signal is LH hormone. And LH hormone comes from the pituitary gland and signals to the ovary that yes, this egg is mature now, now it should rupture and the egg should come into the tube. So the urine kits, LH kits can test whether LH has come in the body or not. So for three to four days prior to your expected date of ovulation, you can start testing through the help of the urine kits, LH kits. And the moment it shows two lines, that means LH has come in the body and within around 18 to 34 hours, your egg is likely to rupture. And that is the time when you should be trying. So this is another cheap method, another easy method which you can do yourself at home. The best method is through an ultrasound. Through the uh, you know miracles of science, we have now ultrasounds. We can which can you know we can actually see the follicle developing. So follicular study is done from second or third day of the cycle, and then we do serial ultrasound for about three to four uh, days. And we have a video on follicular study on our channel. If you wish, you can go uh, to that particular video. We will uh, we will send you a link in the description box and check how it is done and but through the uh, method of ultrasound we can exactly see when the egg is ruptured. So if you are in doubt, if you have irregular cycle, you should go to a doctor and they will do a follicular study and we can exactly tell you that this is the time when your follicle ruptures or when your egg comes in the body or whether you are even ovulating or not. So I hope through the help of this video you might be able to get some idea about how fertile period is calculating. All said and done, in the end, again, I would like to emphasize that if you're living together, if you have a normal sexual life, please do not track fertile days. It can create huge pressure on you, performance anxiety on you.